What's up everybody, my name is Godzi, and welcome back to another bonus episode of Corpse Party. This is already the fourth, I didn't think we'd have this many. And we're probably gonna have a fifth too, so that's fun. I'd assume next bonus episode's gonna be the last one, because hopefully we can get the remaining endings this episode, because we have three left, and then we have the remaining name tags. So yeah, last episode, we got two more endings in Chapter 5. Um, the one where, uh, the anatomical model and Yoshikazu fucking kill Yoshiki. That was fun. And we redid the one where Yuka gets caught by Kazami. Fun. But, we still have three more. We have playthrough as normal without reading all five notes. We have get caught by the anatomical model or Yoshikazu and escape. And we have Let Now Me Drown in the Insect Pool. So that's fun. And of course, we still have three more uh, name tags. Two in the Abandoned Bomb Shelter, one in the Bomb Shelter Girls' Bathroom. I was correct with writing that those were the places. I did not know the exact locations. But the two in the Abandoned Bomb Shelter are indeed on the head tables. On the uh, only two that you can actually get to on the left, though, because you only go down the left path once to get through there. And the one in the Bomb Shelter Girls' Bathroom is in the left corner. However, you can only get these during the final escape. So, guess what I'm going to do first? We're going to escape. So, I went ahead and just moved a little forward with this save file. I only walked forward. This should be on the true end. So, all we have to do is walk in here, appease Sachiko, and try to escape. So, that much is easy. So, yeet. Hello, Sachiko. Hello, Naomi. Go away, Taguchi. Do, do, do. And then she stabs the fuck out of Yuka, which I still don't understand. But, whatever. Naomi just killed Seiko. Offer Sachiko's tongue. Do not offer Naho's notebook. Give her the black cat plushie. Do not give her the sin tape. Goodbye. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're good. Now let's run. Thank you, Yuki. Alright. So, we gotta run as fast as we can, we gotta check the bathroom, and we gotta check the tables. So, we might have to do this a second time, if I'm not fast enough, which I don't know how much time I have. I finished this with five fucking... Okay, I was gonna say, I have to be able to go here. I remember finishing this with, uh, five, so right here, pile of rubble, yep. Ken Fuji, so that's one down. Only two more are needed. So the bell rang once. I don't know how many times the bell rings before you're fucked, though. Alright, that's two. Whatever. <laughs> I already have this, but I might as well grab it again. Alright, we need to check the tables. They should all be on the left side, but we have to go through this maze first. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, fuck. Three. I don't know how many total there are. Probably, like, ten. Since I got out... Well, I got out by five. Unless the bell tolls don't matter. I mean, I'd assume there has to be a limit. It's probably some dumb number like eight. Okay. One. That's four. Two. This table. There we go. Sepia Arisube. That's an odd name. And the last one should be on this table. There we go. Q Nishimura. You know what? What's this escape? <laughs> Fuck. I'm going the wrong way. How many times does the bell ring? Five. Okay. Just keep running. Let's just get this true end real quick. <laughs> Actually, I want to see what happens if I do run out of time. So, we're just gonna stand around. I'd assume I've already gotten the ending for it. Doo -doo. Number six, the air is beginning to feel thicker now. Because I remember I have to sit through the entire credit sequence if I just go out there, so... I just want to see what happens if we fuck up. It's 
probably that ending where we uh, chant the wrong number of times, and we wake up in that room and Yuki says, Welcome, you fucking idiots. The bell tolls for a seventh time, the whole school begins to shudder and sink with its vibrato. The school day is now over. Oh, so there were seven tolls. Any students still in the building may never go home again. <laughs> well, shit. Uh, everything's gone dark. Did we miss our chance? No! Yep, it is just this. My friends. Yuki! We already got this ending. But we did it! We got all the name tags! Hooray! So isn't that cool? Now all we have to do is get the endings. And that was not a different ending, so that's good. Yep. Victims! Um, where are my new ones? Where are my new victims? Q Nishimura. Always love the academy students and encourage them to spread their wings. That is not a death. <laughs> Ken Fuji. Stabbed with scissors by child spirit bled out. Fun. Uh, Sepia Arisube. Only one from this school. Caught in changing hallway during earthquake. Head crushed by newly formed wall. So do I have... Yeah, I have all the name tags in every chapter. 6, 6, 16, 16, fucking 40. So we have all the name tags. Hooray, even though it still says 84 out of question mark. So that's odd. But whatever. All we gotta worry about now is getting the endings. So we shall do that. Alright, so... We have... I guess I'll start with Get Caught by the Anatomical Model Yoshikazu and Escape. Which either of these will work for. Because we're right outside the science lab. Blood spray. Hergy dur. Hello, Kazami's name tag. Alright, enter. There we go. There's the last name tag. Fucker's gonna run around. Now we have to get caught. Well, I should probably grab the key first. Hello, Yoshikazu. Alright. So, if I get caught... Yep, same shit. Let her go, you bastard! <laughs> no! No! Shinozaki! God damned. Gah! Move, you asshole! Gah! 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 Stop it! <laughs> Stop it, please! Just leave me! Run! Get out of here! Shinozaki, don't worry. I'm going to save you. You're just going to die! Look at you! You're bleeding! Badly! This is an order from your class rep! Leave me! Oh, just shut it! Don't give me that crap! I'm not Satoshi, but I'm going to protect you anyway! Damn, if this keeps up, I'm, I'm a goner. There's gotta be some way. Alright, then we just leave. That's what has to happen, right? Oh! Okay, back to this shit. So, I'm assuming this will go, like, the same pathway as when we quote-unquote saved Ayumi, but in actuality, we just got caught again. So, let's just move forward and see what happens. I want to make another save point so I can just go as usual and drown in the fucking bug pool and see what happens then. Hello, Yoshiki. Satoshi. Hello, Yoshiki. Yoshiki, what's wrong? We're Shinozaki. Oh boy. So, it was some kind of monster? But how? That shouldn't... It's my fault. Yoshiki, I left her to die, and I'm going to have to live with that for the rest of my life. It's the monster's fault she died, not yours. You did nothing wrong, Kishinuma. Come on, let's make sure nobody else dies. Let's find Miss Yui and get the hell out of here. Yeah, I swore to her that I would live through this for both of us. I just don't get it, though. She's such a scaredy cat, and yet she told me to run. She said, don't worry about me, just run. I mean, she had to have been scared shitless, scared out of her mind, and yet she just accepted it. If she were still alive, she'd die again in a second if it meant keeping you guys safe. It's all she was ever worried about. So I guess that duty falls on me now. 
and I swear I won't let her down. I'll stake my life on it. It wasn't just us she was looking after, Kishinuma. It was everyone from class, you included. That's right, and not a single other person is going to die if I have anything to say about it. So let's find Miss Yui and put this place behind us for good. Make sure you keep it together, okay? If you leave yourselves too vulnerable, this place will swallow you up. The darkening will take you over, and you'll become part of the building, like a stain. That's what that Kibiki guy wrote anyway. Understood. Ah! Okay, and then that. Yay. So, what's gonna be the difference here with Yoshiki being left alive in Ayumi's group? Well, either way, Ayumi's fucked. Well, maybe. What if she's not? What if she somehow survived that? And the wrong end is, is she's just like, You fucking left me to die, you fucking asshole! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> what the hell, bitch? <laughs> Alright. Well, let's go and save. That's not at all what I meant to do. Fuck you, game. So, there's the science lab. Uh, just save over that, I guess. Yo, Ayumi! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You still dead in the same way? Yeah, well, nearly. Ah! <laughs> Shinozaki! Ah! And, yep, she was fucking beheaded. That's fun, isn't it? Does this not do anything now? Nope. Okay, well, let's just go say hi to... Well, we're probably actually gonna get, gonna get different dialogue this time, aren't we? Since it's just Yoshiki here, we've never done this without Ayumi. Hmm. Wonder what the difference here is gonna be... Oh! Is she already dead? Miss Yui! Miss Yui! God, she's unconscious. Miss Yui, pull yourself together! Come on, wake up! Don't tell me. No! She's ice cold! You've gotta be kidding me! Miss Yui, please, no! You've gotten yourself in pretty deep, huh, Miss Yui? Looks like you're Shinozaki's partner in crime once more. One last time. But you... You can't hear a word I'm saying anymore, can you? <laughs> Miss Yui! Ah. And there goes those. Okay, well, actually, we're about to get the fucking bug ending, aren't we? Is there a different save point along the way? I don't think there is. So we might as well just get the bug ending here. Yeah, no save point. Alright, let's get it. Alright, Naomi, just sit in there and die. Alright, so how are you guys feeling today? I'm feeling great. Isn't that fun? Might as well make her look like she's struggling. Just like, I can't get out! I can't get out -y. I am fucked. I can feel every slight movement of the bugs. I stumble meekly, barely able to move at all. The bugs beneath my feet make it virtually impossible to remain upright as I work my way to shore. It's Satoshi! And she shows up over there, except she's already dead. Yeah! <laughs> no! Save me! It, it, it hurts! It hurts! God, it hurts! A large number of bugs have found their way onto my skin and have begun not only shuffling across my body, but burrowing into it as well. Ugh! God, why? Make it stop! Save me, please! Satoshi! Sato... <laughs> That was kind of anticlimactic, but hey, I need all the endings anyways, so woo. Yeah, not really not any different than I would have expected. So, now we just like, gotta go back to the safe island. This time, escape from the pool. So that's easy enough. That was the 10th star, really. 
Okay, well, back here. This time we escape from the bug pool, which is not hard, thankfully. Whatever, let's just. Oh, well, it's Ayumi, she's dead. Yeah, whatever. Goodbye. <laughs> dun, dun. It's interesting how music is used in this, because it's like, we know we're fucked just due to this music being like, hey, you're fucked, you know? Alright, let's, so, let's go say hi to Miss Yui's dead body. Bleh! Alright, this time we escape from the bug pool. Again. Dun, dun, dun. Bleh! Oh fuck, this sucks. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Blech. Whatever. Fuck you, bugs. You guys are easy mode. Get fucked. We won. Alright, off we go to the bomb shelter. I can again skip most of the dialogue. So I wonder how it's gonna be any different. Well, probably different compared to last time. We're probably still gonna leave early, and then Yoshiki's somehow gonna die in the real world, right? Unless Ayumi's ghost comes after us. Ooga booga! <laughs> Hello, Kurosaki. Alright, th good talk, Kurosaki. <laughs> Fuck this darkness. Up we go! Hello, Principal's office! Nyom! Alright, let's go. Grab that tongue. She's the one who felt. I tried to rape her! Be ba da ba doo ba da Give me the tongue! Hey <laughs> hey! Cut out your tongue! I am crazy man! We got Sachiko's tongue. Let's say hi to the space heater and head down the ladder. Do 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 do. Alright, down we go. Not fucking bother with the door. Follow the right pathways through this shit. Yeah. One, two. One. One. Two. Haha. -ha. Get fucked. Hello, Tagachi. Goodbye, Tagachi. Alright, gotta go back through this fucking fuck maze. And I'm gonna have to do it once more. <laughs> so I can get that last ending. I don't know how long the extra chapters are gonna go on for. But I guess we'll figure that out when we get to them. Probably next bonus episode. Or maybe this will just be an extra long one if I only go to like 45 minutes. Or they're longer than I thought and I'll have to split them. Watch each fucking extra chapter be two hours long or some shit, just like the rest of- just like regular chapters in this. That'd be crazy. Hmm. Doot 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 doot. Doo. Alright, move onward. Uh, we still have the pillar maze to go through. And we have the dissection room. Hello there, pillar maze. <laughs> Random thought, does anyone speedrun Corpse Party? That seems like it'd be kind of a weird thing to do, but... I mean, there's probably people who do. There are people who speedrun Portal, but that game has mechanics that make it so it makes sense to speedrun that game. Okay, I should investigate more. Maybe it only wants me to investigate this at the very least. But, whatever. <laughs> Alright, hide under the table, losers. Yeet, yeet. Yeet. Taguchi fucking dies. I forgot. Seiko's body, yeah. And then, we run. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh wait. Ugh. What is this place? And what happened to me? I was in the incinerator and. Ah! The, the hell is this place? It's nasty. Huh. I am alive. 
You can't kill me yet! <laughs> Where am I? Alright. Hawoha! Yoshiki! Satoshi! And Yuka too! Good to see you guys! Uh huh! Naomi! Naomi went after this monster that took Shinohara's body, and she got separated from us. Miss Yui too! God! Alright, now there's nothing keeping us in this godforsaken school anymore. Let's just find Nakashima and get the hell out of here. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> Speak of the devil! Naomi, are you okay? Satoshi! Nakashima! You really had us worried. Good to see you're uninjured, at least. Did you find Shinohara? Seiko? No. I don't think we can bring Shinohara back with us. I wish we could. If we don't hurry, we're gonna get attacked and we'll all wind up as part of the school. I hate to do it, but we really need to get out of here while we have the chance. <sighs> okay. Alright, together, friends. We are outie. Sachiko, we beg of you. Sachiko, we beg of you! 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 Yay. Alright, hello, nerds. We survived. Wait, before you all go... Hmm? Don't stay home tomorrow. Come to school, please. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Get fucked, Heavenly Host, even though this is a wrong ending. We did it. I returned to my room and collapsed into my bed, thinking about all the things that were going to happen from here on out, what life would be like, when I heard a faint voice softly calling my name. Satoshi! Satoshi! What the? It was coming from outside the window. I got up to look, and there, in the distance, I saw a person dressed in white, waving at me. Is that? It was Yoshiki, but he wasn't quite himself. His eyes were opened unusually wide, and he was staring at my window with soulless black pupils. Okay... On top of that, he was flashing me a bizarre, toothy grin with a decidedly unnatural curve to it, and I could see saliva pouring out from between each of his teeth. Even the wave of his hand was off. It was a vigorous, it was vigorous and forceful, as if he were overacting a part. Satoshi, Satoshi, come on out, come on out! What the hell is he doing? At this point, I didn't care. I darted out of the school to meet him, still wearing my school uniform. Yoshiki, what are you doing? If you. If you weren't there, then Shinozaki, Shinozaki would. He came running toward me at full speed, holding something in his hand that glinted in the light. Then he fucking killed her, killed him. Oh, dodge right. He stopped himself mid-charge, throwing the knife he held in his hand to the ground with a dull metallic clank. If you weren't, Ugh. Yoshiki, what's going on? Don't worry, I wasn't going to stab you. I was actually planning to stab myself. What the hell are you saying? Didn't you swear to Shinozaki that you'd live through this? I don't deserve to. I don't deserve anything. I'm a worthless piece of shit for abandoning her. For running when I should have stayed and fought. Well, how's dying gonna help anything? You killing yourself sure as hell isn't gonna bring Shinozaki back. Plus, do you really think that's what she would want? Huh? Ugh, <sighs> Shinozaki. Shinozaki. I stood there in the rain for... I don't even know how long. Just staring at Yoshiki as he knelt there, crying. Soon I began crying right alongside him. Well, no one actually dies, so... Yay! Get caught by the anatomical model or Yoshikazu and escape. So, it just mentally breaks Yoshiki is the difference. Got it? Christ. Alright, so now we just have one more ending. Play through the game as normal without reading all five notes. We shall do that. The final ending. All right, I'd imagine we should still go in here. But this time, uh, not get caught at all. Do -do 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 -do. There's the last note that we are not gonna read. Hello, fucker. All right, this time, neither of us are gonna get mentally broken. Wow. The AI is so dumb that it's actually super easy to win that. Alright. 
Now never go back to the classroom. Dun, 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 dun. Does Naho still show up here? Door's locked. Well, maybe we should just meet up here. Perhaps. I don't know. Well, either way, we need to walk all the way up there. I don't know how we're supposed to progress, though, without doing that. I mean, I think meeting up here is what causes the earthquake to happen, so I guess we also have to skip Yoshie's diary. Alright, through the custodian office, into the bathroom, and out here. Hello, Shinazaki. Yep. You serious? Well, there was no body, but Morishige was beyond saving at that point, I think. But why? I wish everyone would stop dying so easily. <laughs> Class her up. Guess the only one left is Miss Yui, then. God, how can you be so matter-of-fact about it? Uh, oh, um, sorry. I think it goes without saying that none of our friends who died here would want us to join them. We all want to get out of here, so let's just cling to that desire and keep moving forward. We know the way out, so even with things a little bleaker now, there's still that hope for us. We're almost there. All we have to do is find Miss Yui, and then we can finally escape this living hell. Sounds good to me. Yeah! Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. Nakashima, I have something of yours. Oh, my student ID! Sorry I didn't get the ID back to you sooner. You must have been freaking out about it, if you knew the way out. Believe me, I was. Well, then don't go losing that scrap again, okay? Thank you so much. You have no idea what a relief it is to have this back. Shinozaki, nice job finding that. I can't even tell you how much of a load off our minds it is. No problem at all. Oh, but check this out. I took another look at these pages after we had our little talk with Naho, and all the bloodstains have vanished. You can read every word clear as day now. What do you mean you talked to Naho? You didn't. Kipiki, I'm so sorry. My readings were far too broad. That was weird. I don't know why that happens. This place is not the simple plane of spirits I'd previously surmised it to be. If we don't get out of here, ASAP, we'll be in real danger. I thought we'd be able to get back easily through the way out strategy I detailed, but these child spirits are bound here in a very particular manner. It won't be so, quite so simple to achieve. Doing so will mean appeasing the malicious spirits that dwell here to unlock the gate that cuts through the planar void, back to the world we know. Using this technique before fulfilling this condition could be unimaginably dangerous. There's no telling what might happen. Does that mean... Yeah, this planar void that separates Heavenly Hells from the real world was created by Yuki and the others, and it's totally surrounding us. So if we did this reverse Sachiko charm thing right now, we still wouldn't be able to get it get back, it would block our way. So we really do have to get Sachiko to repent and appease the other child spirits in order to get home. Yeah, let's give it our best shot. We're almost there, right? And then Earthquake. Alright. I feel like the dialogue's a bit fucking screwy, so I just want to make sure I'm not fucked. Um, because I feel like that's the same as the true ending when I sh- I feel like that's the same as the true ending when I shouldn't be on path for the true ending. So I'm just not going to go in the science lab at all. We're just going to ignore that, and, and if the dialogue changes, then so be it. Maybe not reading all five Naho notes means not going into the fucking science lab at all. And if that's the case, then wahoo. What tools do I have? Okay, I just wanted to make make sure that this was how far I was. Alright. Well, I should have figured. I made the save file last episode, so woohoo. Alright, let's go. There's no music. Alright, let's see if the dialogue's any different. You what? Oh, great. So we do have to go to the science lab or else there's no progression here. That's fun. Maybe I have to not read any of Naho's notes at all. Maybe that's what it means. Ah, fine. We'll try that, but it means I have to start a complete new game. But, either way, we'll try it. Oh yeah, great, we have to run from Kazami. Well, that's fun. Ah, 
fuck this. <laughs> oh well, whatever. It's all for the sake of experimentation, because I don't want to accidentally get the wrong... Uh, I don't want to accidentally get the true ending. Alright, whatever. Kazami is Kazami. Skip all the dialogue. Let Kurosaki die. Run. Sachiko, save me. Fuck. Just in case. We, uh, don't need that one anymore. Alright, goodbye. Alright, time to do nothing but run. I wonder if I can use WASD. I can, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Go away. This isn't even funny anymore. I'm just running away. Do 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 it says without reading all five, but that might mean without reading any, you know? So, yeah, I feel like it'd be safer to just not read any. And if this proves to be a waste of time, then it proves to be a waste of time. So, hooray. Alright, I'd wait for Gazami, but I'm just gonna keep on going until I find him. He usually shows up right here, yep. Yeah. Alright, time to get fucking juked, Kazami. We me be? Okay, cool. Now we just walk, because he's a slow motherfucker. Running from a literal serial killer. Alright, cool. Now we just run away. Keep going. Goodbye, Kazami. Burp. Hooray. Oh, more Shige. Then he fucking dies. I still feel like Morishige and Mayu were kind of underutilized. But whatever. Crash. Burn. Die. Alright, keep on skipping the text. We'll go back. Off we go. Goodbye, Yuki. Cool. Let's just save again, just in case, because you never fucking know. Alright, except I basically do know at this point. Up, oh, Yuka. Then Sachiko. Then we go this way, because we have to meet up with Satoshi and Naomi. Hey, you got blood on your ass! Oh, yep, and Yuka being a fucking weirdo. Yep, and then away we go. And then Kibiki, Taguchi, Kibiki and Taguchi, Kibiki and Taguchi, Kibiki and Taguchi, Kibiki. <laughs> um, then we run. We go here, splinters in your back. Do, 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 do. Alright. Goodbye, losers. Enjoy hell. Alright, we gotta go read that. I know that much. Alright, read. Read, you loser, read! Then she cries. And sad music. 
Then we go and find Yuka. Even though that doesn't take long at all. Kurosaki, Yuka's shoe. Yuka gets stopped by fucking Sashiko. And we go up here, learn that Morishige is dead, pick up his cell phone. What happens if I don't pick up his cell phone? Maybe the difference is Yuka doesn't appear there. Who knows? Either way, hello, Yuka. Alright. Cool. Let's save. Awesome. Alright. Keep on going. Dun, 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 dun. Then we gotta read the other tape, the other tape, the other tape. We gotta read the tape, the tape. Ta we don't have to read the tape, we have to watch the tape. Because that's how tapes work. Hello. Goodbye. Die. Alright, up the ladder. I'll go first. Goodbye, Yuka. Hello, Yuka. We got the tape. Back to these geeks. This is where Naho shows up, but we need to ignore her. Ha ha! I wonder if we still have to go in the science lab, though. Perhaps. Ignore Naho. Keep on going. <laughs> Alright. We might still have to investigate the science lab. What do I do? Ah, I remember. I remember exactly what we're supposed to do. I'm just stupid. Okay. We gotta go down to where Toko died. And I guess, by extension, Mayu also died there. So, off we go. How does the school change this much? It's crazy shit. Alright, there's Toko's dead body as well as Mayu's dead body. Alright. Save. Hello, science lab. Yeah, we can still go in there, it seems. The anatomical model's still there. But there's nothing to investigate other than a dead body, because there's no note in here. Oh, there, fucker. It doesn't move at all. I guess it only moves if we actually read the note that Naho leaves behind. Oh, come on. Alright. No, stop! <laughs> Alright, now let's see if this helps us. Because if it doesn't, then I wasted a fuck ton of time. <laughs> but, whatever. Up we go. Off to where they are. And if this doesn't help us, then we just have to reload a save file and read the note in the reference room. Alright. Alright, do you guys talk at all? Shit. Well, just in case, I'm gonna save here, outside the science lab. Assuming I didn't already. Just to make sure we're good. Nope, I already did. Okay. So, yeah, that was a huge waste of time. Oh, well. This ending's difficult. Alright, this save file. We have to read the note and escape from there. Pick up that, even though there's no point. Go down here, read the note. Alright, the last note appears there. And then the anatomical model chases us. Yoshikazu's just a dummy. He doesn't actually chase after us much. Use the lab key, escape. We're good. We end this. Alright. So yeah, I was doing it right the whole time. I'm just stupid. Because the thing is, we're not going to get the baby statue. Maybe that's the difference. 
Because the game still makes it sound like we've talked to Naho, but we haven't. Like, we find the first four notes, we never find the fifth, we never find Naho. We never get her name tag or the baby statue, meaning we can't get Yoshie's diary, meaning we can't get the black cat plushie. And then nerds talk about nerd things. And yep, Naho and everything. Fuck, where do I go now? Oh yeah. We do this shit. Alright. Now I know that this is what we're supposed to do. I don't know why I didn't bother saving when I did this the first time, but it doesn't really matter. Alright. Let's head on to hell. Alright. Does the bridge not collapse unless... Well, the bridge is probably about to collapse, yeah. Alright, now and now he's gotta escape again. I forget exactly how to do it, but it doesn't matter, it's easy. You just kinda wiggle around until it works. There we go. Easy peasy. Alright, let's head off to the principal's office. Alright. Assuming the principal even shows up, he does. And he just keeps on jumping off the roof. We collect his key. And then off to the principal's office we go. I don't know what the difference is going to be with this ending, but I saved it for last because I thought it would take the longest. And I'm right, it is taking the longest. Alright. Up those stairs. Up, up this stairs. I wonder if Sachigo's tongue even appears. It does. Hmm. She's the one at fault. Alright. We did it. There we go. Wait, how does Yuka stand here? <laughs> Come to think of it. Yuka, <laughs> you're kind of freaking me out. Maybe you're the antagonist or something. Even though you're not, you're not an antagonist. If anyone among us is a secret antagonist, it's Ayumi. Or maybe Shishido. Or both. <laughs> or Morishi- well, Morishige, we already know is fucking psycho, but... We don't know to what extent. This is- I don't think that does anything ever, it just shows up for some reason. Oh well, whatever. Off we go. Watch Shishido die. Do 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 How does she actually die, though, if Ayumi dies in the science lab? That's an oddity. But whatever, there's the principal. Down we go. Do, 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 do. Keep going. Alright, here we are. Now, I don't... We're still going. I don't know how this is working, though. Alright, whatever. Something different has to happen. I mean, we don't even have the black cat plushie this time. So, yeah, we never got Yoshie's diary, never learned about Yoshie, never got anything from Naho. So, yeah, either way we get a bad ending, because we don't have the fucking, uh, cat plushie. I'm just confused how this will change at all. I imagine it won't change at all until we actually meet up with Ayumi and Yoshiki, though. At least, I'd imagine. God, this puzzle takes forever. <laughs> it's obnoxious. You know that's not what I meant to do, game. Wait, hold on. I shouldn't have anything that I shouldn't have, right? No baby statue, no, uh... Black cat plushie, no Yoshie diary. We're fine. Alright. Up we go. And then we have to hit this switch over here, and then that switch down there, and then we go up, and there's the pillar path. Alright. Hmm. The only difference here is that we don't have the proper tools to, uh, satisfy Sachiko. I'm not gonna save, just in case. Alright, pillar maze. Hello. Alright, um... I'm pretty sure I remember how to do this. I've done it a couple times in the past few days. 
Yep, still got it. It's like the Lost Woods, but with Japanese high school students dying. Maybe I only have to investigate this. I'm just gonna try that. Yep, I only have to investigate the fucking cabinet. That's interesting. Just to make sure there's no one in there. Alright, there's Seiko. Tagachi dies. Then we chase after Naomi. What's gonna be the difference here? I don't get it. Blood trail stops, yeah. Then when we walk up into this room... Are, is the text any different? I'd imagine not. Yoshiki's fine. Audi. Alright. Is it, is it anything different, then? Yoshiki and Shinozaki! Melchida! And Yuka, too. Good to see you guys. Uh-huh. You two okay? You're out of breath. Naomi. Naomi went after this monster that took Shinohara's body, and she got separated from us. Nakashima is missing? Alright, now there's nothing keeping us in this godforsaken school anymore. Let's just find Nakashima and get the hell out of here. Okay, yeah, it's different now. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. Naomi, are you okay? Satoshi! Nakashima! Nakashima! You really had us worried. Good to see you're uninjured, at least. Did you find Shinohara? Seiko? No. Nakashima, I wish we could take Shinohara back with us, but I don't see any way that would work. The longer we stay here, the more likely it is that the way out will be closed. I think we should just leave while we can. Okay, so yeah, this is different. I don't think we can bring Shinohara back with us. I wish we could. How is this a wrong ending, though? All five of us are alive. If we don't hurry, we're gonna get attacked and we'll wind all wind up as part of the school. I hate to do it, but we really need to get out of here while we have the chance. <sighs> okay. Alright, let's begin. Everyone gather around. Okay. So what's the difference here? Sachiko, we beg of you. Sachiko, we beg of you! Sachiko, we beg of you! Sachiko, hear our pleas! Sachiko, we beg of you! Why do they say, we hear our pleas? Sachiko, we beg of you. Does that mean the same thing? Because Naomi said that before too. Dot dot dot. Was I asleep? This is my room. Okay, but I don't remember escaping from that school where everybody died. I was definitely there, though. I wish I could forget Shinohara's lifeless face and Morishige's panic voice. There's no way it was a dream. Good morning, big brother! Yeah, Yuka, good morning. What's up? You seem awfully peppy. Did you make it back with me? Breakfast! Breakfast, silly! If you don't come down, none of us can start eating. Uh, okay. Actually, I think I'll skip breakfast this morning. Uh, why? I'm not especially hungry. I'm sure you can understand. That's no excuse. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, you know. Look, just leave me okay alone, okay? You were there too. You saw what happened yesterday. Hmm? Big brother, are you crying? Did you have a scary dream? Yuka, didn't you... Oh. Hold on. How did this... Hmm? Oh, God. We were sent back in time, weren't we? Mochida! Shinohara! You look pretty down. You okay? I, uh, yeah. I bet I know what it is. Your heart's just all flutter because we got paired together for a tending shop today, am I right? Huh? What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Pervert. What? Ah, lusty boy. What? Am I dreaming now, or was everything else just a dream? Morning, everybody. Brought some bowls for the soup. Think this will be enough? Morning! Ah, good morning. Yeah, that looks like plenty. Ooh, top of the morning, you sexy beast. <laughs> I guess it really was just a nightmare. <sighs> Seiko, how many times have I told you? Stop grabbing my ass. <laughs> but when but when I see you all serious and focused like that, how can I resist? <sighs> Stop! <laughs> Cut it out! Jeez! <laughs> oh, now that's no good. Our tableware has to be kept clean. Wait, this is like deja vu. In fact, this is exactly how it was. It's the same as my dream, the dream where we all got sent to Heavenly Host. Was it real after all? Is the whole day just restarting? 
I have to put a stop to it. Oh boy. Eh? What are you going on about now? Haven't we host elementary? Well, I'm surprised you've heard all that, Mochida. I was actually planning on telling you guys a ghost story about that place later tonight. Satoshi, don't tell me you've been slacking in your duties and daydreaming about some haunted school now. Ah, uh, busted! Hehehe. <laughs> Not like he's the only one who's been slacking, though. Shig. I haven't been slacking. I simply needed to go make copies of the script for Drama Club. I don't know, Morishige. That sounds like an excuse to me. Come on, then. Come on. It's your turn, right, Mochita? Your post awaits. Oh, this is not good. They're still gonna do it, aren't they? Yep. Now hold on really tightly. Dig your nails into it if you have to. Just don't let go. We're going to pull on it until it rips apart into eight pieces. Stop! Everybody, stop what you're doing! Mochita, what is it? Do you want in after all? No, absolutely not. I just... This charm is dangerous. Why won't you understand? I gotta say, it is pretty unusual for you to get so worked up. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, we're almost finished, so just sit down, okay? It'll all be over soon. I cannot ever trust Ayumi. They're going to be whisked away to Heavenly Host. If I don't go too, Naomi, all of them will be in terrible danger. Alright, let's welcome one more into the circle. What can I do? What can I do to protect them this time around? I mean, this is like a restart. You might be able to protect everybody. Might. That was a very weird-ass, uh, wrong end. Except we're getting a credit scene, so... Eh. Is that another alternate ending, then? Hmm. That's sort of fucked. That was interesting, though. That was a very interesting wrong ending, but hey, we finally got all the wrong endings. At least I'd assume that has to be the last wrong ending, unless that was a secret ending. And the 8th star is unobtainable. <laughs> but yeah, we got all the name tags, and I'd assume this is the last ending. That was quite an interesting one, Groundhog, Groundhog saying the whole thing. Huh. That one did feel a lot more odd, because that, that doesn't really classify as a wrong end. Everyone's still alive. How did Satoshi not get anybody to get out of it? I mean, granted, Ayumi still being fucking terrible. It's like she knows. It's like she knows exactly what's going to happen. I cannot trust Ayumi at all. Like, seriously, not at all. But yeah, that... Satoshi couldn't even get anybody to stop doing it. He couldn't stop Yuka. He couldn't stop Shishido or Yoshiki or Naomi. Like, some of the dumber ones I can understand. Like, Mayu would definitely fucking do it regardless. And Ayumi, she would definitely fucking do it regardless. Achievement unlocked, penning the Book of Shadows. What? Penning the Book of Shadows? How does that mean? Well, we got all the endings. Hold on. Let me check that achievement. <laughs> Still me, Jorgen Von Strangle. Check those achievements. Uh, so what's up with this fucking ending? Attain the loop ending to chapter 5. Penning the Book of Shadows. I know Book of Shadows is the next game in the series. What's the point of that, though? Wait. Oh. Oh, what the? There are still name tags. And still endings. Well, I guess that must be from the extra chapters. Huh. Well, that's something, then. Well, either way, this was a relatively shorter bonus episode. Only 54 minutes. But, hey, we got all the endings to the main chapters. It's nice to see all those green, wh white, and yellowish stars. But yeah, we still have the extra chapters, so I don't know how long each of them are, but next episode will, at the very least, start a gentleman's errand. I don't know how many more there's going to be. Uh, hopefully they're all short enough to the point where I can just finish them next episode. It's not like I'm getting sick of this game, it's just more that, like, the extra content, a lot of these wrong endings weren't exactly interesting. 
Like, I still think that the chapters that had the best wrong endings, like, on average, chapter 2, I think, had the best wrong endings on average. I think chapter 1 wasn't anything great. Like, Naomi getting caught by the Black Shadow was not very interesting. And Naomi swallowing the scissors, that was fine. That was perfectly fine, but kind of odd how there's that much of a difference between the true end and the wrong end, just based on whether or not you go in Classroom 3A. Chapter 2, again, I think had the best ones. The Victim's Memoirs was fucking incredible. was a very incredible ending. Uh... All four of those endings, in fact, I think were all pretty good, except for maybe getting caught by the ghost kid. But getting buried alive was, eh, you know, interesting enough. <laughs> uh, chapter 3, I think, was weak. Falling to death? Great. Uh, getting lobotomized? Great. Walking on those green skulls and just fucking dying was not, not great either. And I forgot what the- oh yeah, Yuka getting her eye stabbed, that was probably, ironically, IRONICALLY, the best ending in Chapter 3. Uh, aside from the true end, obviously. Chapter 4, I think, was fine. Like, letting the timer run out when Ayumi was in the pool, that one was name. Just like the skulls, and just like, uh... And just like, looking at the ghost and just getting absorbed into nothingness, that one was shitty. Um... Speaking to Toko without having Seiko's phone, that one was alright, I guess. Kind of standard, but nothing incredible. And the one where Ayumi gets caught in the pool drain is, uh, like, p retribution. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I kind of hate Ayumi, but at the same time, I don't hate her. She's a very odd character to me. Because I don't know whether or not I can fucking trust her. Because I was thinking, she's at least somewhat well-intentioned, right? And then this last wrong ending of Chapter 5, she has psych Psycho Eyes on. And I'm just like, do I trust you ever? Probably not. And I, all, and I well, I was right in not trusting Morishige and Ayumi from the very start. Like, Morishige doesn't really do anything other than take pictures of dead bodies and kill himself, but... Still, I was right in thinking he's not someone to be trusted. Oh yeah, he does also chase Yuka, but he doesn't really do much with that. Um, as for Chapter 5, I think they were generally okay endings. Um, like, some of them were kind of lame, like letting Naomi drown in the insect pool was nothing too special. Uh... I think overall the best endings in the game, though, were the ones that involved Ayumi, uh, getting fucked, basically. Uh, Chapter 2, all of the endings in Chapter 2, except, well, actually only two of the endings in Chapter 2 involve her fucking dying, but I still think the other ones in Chapter 2 were solid. Uh, especially the one where Yoshiki gets pushed down the stairs. It's like all the wrong endings involving Ayumi, except for, uh, her drowning in the pool and her getting caught by the ghost in Chapter 4 were actually interesting. Um, because both of the Science Lab ones were interesting. Uh, giving Sachiko the notebook or sin tape was odd, though. What, like, I, I don't get what happened there. Like, clearly, uh, Ayumi kills, uh, Satoshi, but then I, I don't understand what's happening after that. It's all weird. The one where she kills Naomi is probably my favorite ending in the game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, wait, what was the difference between taking Yuka to the bathroom and chanting the wrong number of times? Oh, that's the one where we get trapped in the school. That one was okay. Um, heading back to where Naomi was, that one was kind of lame. And there was another one. Ah, uh, yeah, th this one, the one that I just got was all right. Uh, actually, no, it was pretty good. Does it, does that, like, lead into Book of Shadows? Wait, it says penning the Book of Shadows is the achievement. But then after you get the true end of Chapter 5, it says continued in Corpse Party Book of Shadows. So, I'm, I'm confused. Does that wrong end diverge in the Book of Shadows? And then, like, the actual aftermath of this game is... Like, maybe it follows two timelines or whatever. I don't know. It's odd, though. But either way, we've finished all the endings and got all the name tags into five main chapters. And now we just have the extra chapters. 
which I will at least start next episode. I don't know how many there's going to be, but either way, that's going to be it for this bonus episode. So if you liked it, be sure to press the like button, and if you didn't like it, fuck you too. Remember to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all my videos and stuff. And as always, my name is Godzi, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!